Germany and Norway in discussions about building a hydrogen pipeline. Support Europe's plan to end its dependence on Russian gas as soon as possible. Norway, the second largest gas exporter in the European Union. Contribute to the rapid development of the hydrogen market in Germany and on the continent. It relies on hydrogen as an option to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Hydrogen is one of the clean energy sources. It does not emit carbon dioxide upon combustion. It is expected to play a major role in decarbonizing industries, such as steel and chemicals. Germany is currently strengthening its energy partnership with Norway, increasing supplies and securing additional shipments of LNG to his country including the possibility of importing blue hydrogen produced from fossil fuels. Under the pressure of the ongoing Russian war in Ukraine, the two countries plan to reshape the geopolitics of global energy. Conducting a joint feasibility study for the hydrogen tube project. Norway defends blue hydrogen with carbon capture techniques. As a solution to the climate crisis. But Germany needs carbon-free hydrogen and Norway has great capabilities for that. Because of Norway's gas infrastructure, German energy giants are seeking to use blue hydrogen instead. It would also be faster than creating a new renewable energy infrastructure to produce green hydrogen from water electrolysis. This is to achieve the fastest possible imports of large quantities of hydrogen, and to ensure that it is quickly available. It will also jointly plan to use blue hydrogen for a transitional period. This was welcomed by many, who noted the reliability of the Norwegian gas infrastructure and the advantages of shipping hydrogen through pipelines. Transporting hydrogen via pipelines is more cost-effective and climate-friendly than using marine transport options. Germany's hydrogen strategy focuses on achieving climate goals. At the same time, the country is aware of the growing economic opportunities of the hydrogen market. It strives to become a leader in green hydrogen technologies. Germany's approach is guided by the National Hydrogen Strategy. Germany's long-term climate goal 2050 is to achieve carbon neutrality. In line with the objectives agreed under the Paris Agreement. Germany has boosted its national climate target to achieve carbon neutrality by 2045. Amid the pressures of decarbonization of the national economy, it plans to phase out coal-fired power plants. Germany has been supporting hydrogen research since the 1980s. It now has an advanced hydrogen research scene, and plans to become a leading, global source for green hydrogen technology. Germany holds 20% of the global market share in construction electrolyzers. The first step to accelerating the spread of hydrogen technology is to establish a domestic market for hydrogen production and use. The strategy states that Germany plans to establish a generation capacity of up to 5 gigawatts, including facilities to generate electricity from offshore and onshore wind farms. The National Hydrogen Strategy also states that energy partnerships will also contribute to the decarbonization and economic development of hydrogen exporting countries. Germany focuses on joint ventures in the North Sea region. Germany has also signed agreements on hydrogen with many countries, including Saudi Arabia, Australia, Chile, Namibia, Canada, Ukraine, and Morocco. Do you think Germany and Norway will succeed in the hydrogen tube project? Is there any information we didn't mention? Write it in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.